Hey guys, Johnny here, and I'm about to watch a new Honest trailer for Back to the Future. I should have watched this yesterday. Uh, that, that, that was the day for me to watch this. It was October 21st, but hey, what can you do? I didn't even know it was out, so. Uh, better late than never, right? Let's check it out. Let's do this. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> From Steven Spielberg, Spuddy, <laughs> comes the blockbuster hit that stands the test of time. The sequel that launched a million BS Facebook posts. And the mine. third one, the Back to the Future trilogy. Great Scott. Prepare for a trilogy of era-defining films that made everyone who wasn't black want to go back in time. A colored mayor, that'll be the day. Be it, Spook, this don't concern you. Oh featuring the one where they travel to the past, beat up the bully, fix the future, and set up the sequel. The one where they travel to the past, beat up the bully, <laughs> fix the future, and set up the sequel. And the one where they travel to the past, beat up the bully, fix the future, and leave open the possibility for a sequel. <laughs> Man, if you marathon these things, they start to get really repetitive. Mom, thank you. Hey, McFly! You chicken! <laughs> Very familiar about all this. Journey to Hill Valley, a place where the gene pool is so shallow that everyone's ancestor looks exactly the same as their descendants. And meet Marty McFly, your average 80s teenager who just wants to play guitar, hang from cars, and not get clock blocked. Save the clock tower! <laughs> when Marty's handed the keys to a time-traveling DeLorean, he'll journey from 1985 to 1955 to 1985 to 2015 to a dystopian 1985 to 1955 to 1885 when I was a kid, this and back to 1985 so all in the span of about a couple of weeks. Great Scott, that would be a mind oh, But yeah. Marty's not doing it alone. Along for the ride through the fourth dimension is Dr. Emmett Brown, an old man who lives alone and whose only friend is a teenage boy. Huh. He's a mad scientist who steals nuclear weapons from terrorists. They wanted me to build them a bomb, so I took their plutonium and in turn gave them a shoddy bomb KC-4 to use pinball machine parts. Test dangerous experiments on animals. Have a good trip, Einstein. <laughs> Watch your head. And chose to build a time machine out of one of the most unreliable cars of all time. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Gotta fix that thing. To celebrate the original's 30th anniversary, revisit the creepiest blockbuster ever for a story about Marty planning to molest his mom so his dad can have sex with her. Except his mom is totally into it, which means her future son looks identical to the guy she had a crush on in high school. And her attempted rapist does chores around the house. It wasn't for him. We when you say it all like that, it sounds it's extremely <laughs> Not just the original you love. Was that? It's also parts of the other ones, like uh, the, uh, the the train and the version of 2015 that got so many things right about today. From the endless 3D sequels <laughs> to FaceTime to the 80s nostalgia, welcome to the cafe. You'll almost forget them for tricking you into thinking hoverboards were real. They've been around for years. It just that. Parents groups have not let the toy manufacturers make them. We got our hands on some and we put them in the movie. Stop trolling, Zemeckis. <laughs> so return to a simpler time when this was the future. Oh, oh those are so All sick. right. This was the present. <laughs> and this was terrorism. <laughs> as you try not to panic when you realize you're as far away from the first movie's release as Marty was from 1955. Wow, I am old. Starring Rick and Morty, Donald Trump, The Three <laughs> Stooges, hey, that's Billy Zane, Crisping Lover, Bill, Legit Musician Cameos, and Hot Car Time Machine, Doc and Marty's Excellent Adventure. You know what? The timeline continuity really holds up until they throw it all away for that Chuck Berry joke. You know that new sound you're looking for? I mean, if Marty changed the past, that means he never traveled back in time. But if he inspired Chuck Berry to write Johnny Be Good, that means he always went back. And then, uh, oh, my head. I hate time travel. Yeah. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. I love the movies, but I try not to think about all the time traveling too much because then I would just 
Give me a headache. Calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious sh What are you looking at, butthead? <laughs> Nobody calls me chicken. I'm your density. <laughs> Great Scott. Hello. Hello. Anybody home? Think, McFly. Think. Who do you think? The Libyans. Ah, uh, I thought I was gonna say, um... Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? It's one of my favorite lines from the movie. That was pretty good. I actually didn't even know. What was his name? The teacher, the, the ball teacher in the movie, uh, Mr. Strickland, I think. Uh, I didn't even know in the third one he was the guy that was like, uh, was he the sheriff? I don't. The third one's the one that I watched the least, so I don't really remember much. But um, I didn't even know he was the he was the one that was like bra that like was breaking up. I think he was the sheriff. I'm pretty sure he was running around on the horse breaking up fights and shit. So yeah, that guy was was Mr. Strickland. That's that's crazy. <laughs> wow. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.